Hi everybody, welcome to Storytime. I'm happy to have you here. My name is Elizabeth Reimer and I'm the director of Freedom Public Library here in New Hampshire. And I wanna give some shout outs to some of my Storytime friends. I don't have any pictures to show you this week, but be sure to send me some for next week's Storytime, okay? The email address is down in the description below. So here we go, we ready? I wanna say hi to Lily and Jackson and Anna, how you doing? Also, Elsie, Josie, Darla, Piper, Jack, and Bo. Also, Bennett. Hi, Tessa, and hi, Declan. Hi, Amelia and Haley. Hi, Calvin and Emmett. Hi, Colin and Evan. Hi, Ravine and River. How you doing? I haven't seen you in a while. Hey, Joey. Hey, Araya. Hi, Aria. Hi, Anarita. And hey, Adeline. How you doing, Rachel? And how about Anna, Abigail, and baby Noah, Jaden, and Natalie. Hi, everybody. I hope you're all with me today. And now it's time to sing our story time song. You ready to sing with me? Sit down, it's story time, and we're going to have some fun. Read books and sing some songs, so listen, everyone. I like to see your eyes grow bright. I like to see you smile. Cause you're all growing up so fast, let's share this little while. So sit down, it's story time, and we're gonna have some fun. Read books and sing some songs, so listen everyone, listen everyone. The theme this week is scarecrows. Do you know what a scarecrow is? We don't usually see them very much in real life, like out in the fields. But what they are are stuffed, they're sort of like uh, big dolls, kind of, made to look like humans to scare away the crows. That's why they call them scarecrows, because the crows will get in the corn and eat the corn. So if they see a human, they will fly away. That's the hope anyway. So we've had a few new Scarecrow books and an old, older book that I like a lot that I love to read to you. So my first book today is called The Scarecrow. So you see he's full of hay and old clothes and he's got a stitched on mouth and a triangle nose and an old straw hat. So this is The Scarecrow by Beth Ferry and the Fan Brothers illustrated it. That's Terry Fan and Eric Fan. Thank you guys. It's really nice. All right, the scarecrow. There's the crow. The scarecrow. There's the scarecrow. Look, he's on a stick out in the field. Autumn sunshine, haystacks rolled. Scarecrow guards the fields of gold. A rhyming book. No one enters no one dares. Scarecrow stands alone and scares. The fox and deer, the mice and crows. It's all he does. It's all he knows. He never rests. He never bends. He's never had a single friend. For all the woodland creatures know not to mess with old Scarecrow. Winter whispers, velvet snow. Scarecrow has no place to go. He dreams of what the spring will bring, of buds and blooms and things that sing. Then something drops from midair. Boop! A small scared crow lying there. Broken nest? Broken wing? Scarecrow does the strangest thing. He snaps his pole, bends down low, and saves the tiny baby crow. He tucks him near his heart of hay. He lets him sleep. He lets him stay. He doesn't stop to wonder why. He sings the sweetest lullaby. Safe and warm, the nestling mends. These two make the oddest friends, but friends they are right from the start. The crow will grow in Scarecrow's heart. 
and he will peek out at the farm, and he will perch on Scarecrow's arm, and they will laugh and wish on stars, forgetting who they really are. For crows are birds, and birds must fly. The fledgling spreads his wings to try. He dips, then soars, and caws out loud. Scarecrow cheers, pleased and proud. But as he watches, Scarecrow knows that he must stay, and Crow must go. Summer Sunshine Autumn Chill Snowflakes make it colder still. No one visits, no one cares. Scarecrow sags alone and stares. Broken heart, broken pole, nothing fills the empty hole. Then something drops from midair, a large black crow standing there. Scarecrow's arms are open wide, crow spreads his wings and swoops inside. Big hug. <gasps> Joyful hearts, brimming hole, a friend will mend a broken pole, and he will spruce up matted hay, and he will say, I'm here to stay. Winter's over, springtime's due. Is there room enough for two? Oh. Flowers blooming, fields of green. Five small eggs are tucked unseen. Scarecrow guards them, for he knows that soon they will be baby crows. And he will love them from the start, and they will grow up in his heart. And they will peep and perch and play and make him happy every day. And as the seasons come and go, they will love their dear scarecrow. Oh, and now everybody loves him. Look, the fox and the other fox and the chipmunk and the squirrel and the deer and that kind of bird, whatever that is. Oh, I guess the farmer's going to have to find some other way to scare the crows away, huh? So we have a new song called, Did You Ever See a Scarecrow? Did you ever see a scarecrow? Did you ever see a scarecrow, a scarecrow, a scarecrow? Did you ever see a scarecrow that's filled with dry hay? He's dressed all in old clothes. He scares off the black crows. Did you ever see a scarecrow that's filled with dry hay? Now, here's another counting one all about crows this time. Got your five. Five crows, all shiny black, sat on a scarecrow's back, eating some most delicious corn. Can you rub your tummy? Yum, yum. Scarecrow, he shouted, boo. Can you do that? Scarecrow, he shouted, boo. One crow, away she flew. Now there are four black shiny crows. Just four. Five, then four. How about this? Four crows, all shiny black, sat on a scarecrow's back, eating some most delicious corn. Ready? Yum, yum! Scarecrow, he shouted, boo! One crow, away she flew. Now there are three black shiny crows. Just three. Three crows, all shiny black, sat on a scarecrow's back, eating some most delicious corn. Yum, yum! Scarecrow, he shouted, boo! One crow, away she flew. Now there are two black shiny crows, just two. Two crows, all shiny black, sat on a scarecrow's back, eating some most delicious corn. Yum, yum! Scarecrow, he shouted, boo! One crow, away she flew. Now there's just 
One black shiny crow. One crow all shiny black sat on a scarecrow's back eating some most delicious corn. Yum, yum! Scarecrow, he shouted, boo! That crow, away she flew. Now there are no black shiny crows. None! Zilch! Stand up. Are you right? We're gonna just do a of an autumn one, a fall one about leaves. Are you ready? Autumn leaves are falling down. Can you wiggle your fingers? Autumn leaves are falling down, falling down, falling down. Autumn leaves are falling down. We love autumn. Can you say that? We love autumn. Take a rake and pile them up, pile them up, pile them up. Take a rake and pile them up. We love autumn. Jump in them and toss them high. Toss them high. Toss them high. Jump in them and toss them high. We love autumn. Do you love autumn? I love autumn. Everybody stay standing, all right? We're gonna do one more about scarecrows, ready? Scarecrow, scarecrow, turn around. Scarecrow, scarecrow, touch the ground. Stand up tall and blink your eyes. Can you do that? Blink your eyes. Raise your hands up to the sky. Clap your hands and tap your knees. Turn around again and tap your feet. Are you tapping? Scarecrow, scarecrow, touch your toes. Scarecrow, scarecrow, tap your nose. Tap your nose. Swing your arms so very slow. Now real fast to scare the crows. Touch your head. Jump up and down. Now sit down without All right, it's time to sing about you. I'm gonna go first, all right? Let's see, what am I gonna sing about? I think I'll sing about my black shoes. Looks like they need some polish on them. All right, you ready? Elizabeth's wearing her black shoes, her black shoes, her black shoes. Elizabeth's wearing her black shoes all day long. Please take a bow. Hi girls, thank you for coming to do this with us. I'm so happy to see you again. <laughs> Are you ready to sing about you? Yeah. Okay, who wants to go first? Me. <laughs> oh, oh, all right. And you're gonna have to duke it out. Who's gonna go first? Me. Laura can go first. Laura, okay, Laura, what do you wanna sing about? My hello sweatshirt. Oh, look at it, it's so sparkly, I love it. All right, so Laura's wearing her hello sweatshirt, her hello sweatshirt, her hello sweatshirt. Laura's wearing her hello sweatshirt all day long. Please take a bow. Oh, yay! All right, now Molly. All right, I'm going to sing about my unicorn shirt. Look at all the unicorns, that's so cool. All right. Molly's wearing her unicorn shirt, her unicorn shirt, her unicorn shirt. Molly's wearing her unicorn shirt all day long. Please take a bow. Yay! Very good. All right, last but not least, Anna. I want to talk about my koala shirt. Oh, look at it. Very nice. Okay. Anna's wearing her koala bear shirt, her koala bear shirt, her koala bear shirt. Anna's wearing her koala bear shirt all day long. Please take a bow. Yay! Here's another new scarecrow book called The Scarecrow's Hat, and it's written and illustrated by Ken Brown. That's a nice hat said Chicken to Scarecrow. Yes, it is, replied Scarecrow, but I'd rather have a walking stick. <sighs> I've been standing here for years now and my arms are so tired. 
I'd love a walking stick to lean on. I'd swap my hat for a walking stick any day. Well, now Chicken didn't have a walking stick, but she knew someone who did. That's a nice walking stick, said Chicken to Badger. Yeah, it is, replied Badger, but I'd rather have a piece of ribbon. It gets hot and stuffy underground, so I prop my door open with my stick. But I'm always tripping over it. If I had a ribbon, I could tie the door open. I'd swap my walking stick for a ribbon any day. Now, Chicken didn't have a ribbon, but she knew someone who did. Who's that someone who has a ribbon? That's right. That's a nice ribbon, said Chicken to Crow. Yes, it is, said Crow, but I'd rather have some wool. My nest is on this high stone ledge and it's very hard to sit on. I'd love some warm, soft wool to line it with. I'd swap this ribbon for some wool any day. Now, Chicken didn't have any wool, but she knew someone who did. Who do you think that someone is? Did you say sheep? That's a nice wool coat, said Chicken to sheep. Yes, it is, replied she, but I'd rather have a pair of glasses. I have to keep a lookout for the wolf and my eyes are not as good as they used to be. I really need a pair of glasses. I'd swap some of my wool for a pair of glasses any day. Now Chicken didn't have a pair of glasses, but she knew someone who did. I wonder who. Any ideas? Did you say, did you say owl? That's a nice pair of glasses, said Chicken to Owl. Yes, it is, said Owl. My old ones broke, so I had to get a new pair, but I'd rather have a blanket. The sun streams through my window and keeps me awake all day, which wouldn't matter if I had a good thick black blanket to sleep under. I'd swap my glasses for a blanket any day. Now, Chicken didn't have a blanket, but she knew someone who did. Well, that's a nice blanket, said Chicken to Donkey. Yes, it is, replied Donkey, but I'd rather have a few feathers. The flies drive me crazy buzzing around my ears. My tail isn't quite long enough to flick them away, but if I had some long feathers tied to the end of it, I could swap them easily. Oh, I'd swap my blanket for a few long feathers any day. Who has feathers? Right. Quick as a flash, Chicken pulled out one, two, three of her longest feathers and tied them to Donkey's tail. Look, Donkey was delighted and true to his word, swapped his blanket for the feathers. Chicken took the blanket to Owl, who swapped it for his glasses, the old ones, of course. He's all wrapped up in the blanket. She took the glasses to Sheep, who swapped them for her wool. She took the wool to Crow, who swapped it for her ribbon. She took the ribbon to Badger, who swapped it for his walking stick. And finally, she took the walking stick to Scarecrow. With a grateful sigh of relief, he leaned his tired old arms on the stick and gladly swapped it for his battered old hat. Chicken took the hat and filled it with fresh, sweet-smelling straw. A lot of straw there. <clears throat> That's a nice nest, said Duck. Yes, it is, said Chicken, and I wouldn't swap it for anything. That was lots of sharing, wasn't it? And look, that's like right at the very beginning, that same picture. Okay, everybody, let's get moving. We're going to do some music, okay? Both of these songs are by The Learning Group. That's Mr. Eric and Mr. Michael. And the first one is called One, Two, Three, Whee! Whee! Okay, you ready? Get up! Jump! One, two, three, jump! 
because it's such a nice song. You ready? You gotta clap when the Spirit says clap. You gotta clap when the Spirit says clap. When the Spirit says clap, you gotta clap right along. Clap when the Spirit says clap. You gotta sway when the Spirit says sway. You gotta sway when the Spirit says sway. When the Spirit says sway, you gotta sway right along. Sway when the Spirit says sway. You gotta wave when the Spirit says wave. You gotta wave when the Spirit says wave. When the Spirit says wave, you gotta wave right along. Wave when the Spirit says wave. Our last book today is an old favorite of mine called Barn Dance. It's written by Bill Martin Jr. and John Archambault, and it's illustrated by Ted Rand. Full moon shining, shining big and bright, pushing back the shadows, holding back the night. Not a thing stirring, quiet as can be, just the whisper of the leaves on the cottonwood tree. Old hound dog, whining in his sleep, dreaming after rabbits in a game of hide and seek. Over in the farmhouse, all the lights were out. Farmer and his wife and kids, not a one about. All except the skinny kid with questions in his head, much too full of wonderment to spend the night in bed. He was up about and listening. 
when the night owl said, Come a little closer, come a little closer, listen to the night, there's magic in the air. Then the skinny kid heard it, heard it faint begin a plink, plink, plink on the wind's violin. Coming from the cornfield, sweet and soft and low, music hunted up by the old scarecrow. A plinking on the fiddle strings to tune them up just so. The scarecrow tucked the fiddle underneath his chin and fiddled out a welcome to all his country kin. He fiddled through the woods and fields and all around the farm, bidding everybody come to a hoedown in the farm. A hoedown's a dance. There was so much chit and chatter when the critters all arrived that no one saw the skinny kid oozle in and hide. Just in time to hear the crow call the dance, begin! Grab yourself a partner and jump right in! Right hand, left hand, around you go. Now back to back your partner in a do -si do Mules to the center for a curtsy and a bow. And hey there, skinny kid, show the old cow how. Out came the skinny kid a tickin' and a talkin' and a hummin' and a yeein' and a rockin' and a sockin' and he danced his little toe through a hole in his stockin'. Look, everybody having fun, the goose and the mice and the cow. He leaped the apple barrel and the pumpkins in a pile and he showed them how to wagon wheel barnyard style. Now rock it to the moon and powder puff your noses and hurry home to mama on your little pink toeses. Five times, ten times, fifteen, twenty. Now spin once again and that's a plenty. But the fat little pigs whirled round and round till they got so dizzy that they all fell down. The sky was warming up for the coming of the day when the skinny kid heard the night owl say, Morning's coming closer, morning's coming closer. The magic time is over. Night will soon be gone. There goes the skinny kid running up the hill. The old dog stretched and blinked a sleepy eye, just a blink too late to see the skinny kid slip by. He tiptoed through the kitchen and tiptoed up the stairs as quiet as a feather on a breath of air. He hummed a little do -si do and flopped himself in bed with the wonders of the barn dance dancing in his head. He had a magical night in the barn. Now we're gonna make a scarecrow. So here's from that book we were just reading barn dance. There's the scarecrow. You see how he's got his smile stitched on? Those those marks going like that show that they're sewing. And he's got a nose and some eyes. And look, he's got a patch on his, on his shirt. So we're going to make a scarecrow kind of like that. Look at this. Isn't that cute? Got a hat and some straw and a patch. Would you like to make this? All right, I'm going to put you right here, and I'm going to get out my supplies. Now, if you don't get supplies and you live close by, let me know. I'll put you on the list, and we'll get you some too, all right? I've got my toilet paper roll, and here's some hay. We're going to call it hay. We've got the hat already made, and here's a flower, some more hay. Here's the blue clothing. And some, here's a nose. Uh, I got an extra flower. I'm going to put that back in there. Probably don't need all that hay. And a button. You see how the flower has a button in the middle? So the other thing besides this you're going to need is some glue. I don't know if it'll work with a glue stick. So I've got some white glue. Hopefully you have some white glue. I'm pretty sure you all have that kind of glue. And then might need some markers. At least, at least a black marker. First of all, we're going to glue the clothes on the scarecrow 
down at the bottom. See, it's just the bottom part. So I'm going to glue on the clothes. First, I'm going to put some glue on the bottom here and stick it right on there, the beginning of it, lined up with the bottom. And then wrapping it around like that. And I'll put some glue on the, fl the flat part and get good and tight. Now he's got some clothes on. So I just went and got a patch. I didn't have a patch in my stuff. I, I wonder if you did. If you didn't get a patch, you can cut a little square out of some colorful paper, or maybe you could draw the patch on before you um, glue it onto the toilet paper tube. So anyway, I made myself a patch. If you, you don't even have to have a patch if you don't want to. All right, so I'm gonna put the patch like that. That covers the patches to cover up holes in your clothes. People always used to have to patch their clothes. Now people just throw them in the trash can and get another pair of pants or shirt or whatever. So we're going to pretend this was sewed on, not glued on. So do you see how I've got the marks there to show that it the stitches? Stitches like that, and like that, and like that, and like that. All right. My scarecrow has a patch now. Okay, now we're gonna make the face on the, on the scarecrow. We'll start with the eyes. I don't think that the glue stick is going to work for this, so you can try it if you want to. But I'm gonna put on some white glue for the eyes near the top like that. And I'm gonna put an eye It'll take that a while to dry, but it will. And another eye. And now I'm going to put the nose on, the triangle. We'll put the stitchy smile on there, okay? So get your marker out and a smile with some stitches. This is the easy way to sew. <laughs> All right, there we go. And now we're gonna grab our hat and we're going to glue on the flower. Let's put the flower on now. So I'm going to put some white glue on the back and I'm going to stick it on there. And let's try some white glue for the button that goes in the middle of the flower. Okay, there we go. I'm going to put some glue all around the top of the scarecrow's head and on the inside, I think. All right, so now let's get some hair to stick. I don't want too much right in front of his face so you wouldn't be able to see the face. I'm gonna have the hat on top of it so you don't have to make it perfect because you won't be able to see it once the hat goes on. Does that look pretty good? Crazy, man. And now I'm going to put some glue on the inside of the hat. Help it to stay on the top of his head, and not fall off. All right, here we go. Fingers crossed this works. Okay, I think, uh, I think Luann did a better job on hers than I did on mine. Well, what do you think? <laughs> this was so cute. It's not easy to make. Are you gonna have trouble with it? I hope not. You just do the best you can and then you'll have such a cute little scarecrow to show your family and your friends and scare away the crows. Ah! Help! Flew right away. <laughs> okay, everybody. I'll see you next week. I hope you had fun. Bye for now.